Well, th they've considered these issues and they found ways to uh, really allow discrimination to occur. Uh, you know, they're, they're very resourceful in terms of going back and finding out the, sort of the, the white segregationist approach to civil rights uh, in 1964 and writing that into uh, Arizona law in 2010 if this bill passes. Uh, and incidentally, the, the congressmen and senators who offered that language in 1964, uh, which was Senator McClellan in the Senate, Congressman Dowdy uh, in the House, they were from Arkansas and Texas respectively, and they had each signed the Southern Manifesto that promised and pledged that they would perpetuate uh, segregation uh, forever. Uh, and so uh, the, the lawyers that have helped craft this bill uh, have gone in and, and found really the, the worst kind of discrimination language and put it in this bill. Uh, you can, another, uh, certainly a telltale sign uh, that this bill has been written with the anti-immigration uh, zealots in mind uh, is the fact that they're giving themselves money. Uh, they're saying uh, anybody who thinks that a state or local uh, employee is not doing a strong enough job uh, trying to crack down on immigration, uh, go ahead and sue the state or local government and you get money. Uh, so it's, it's a welfare bill for the anti-immigration lawyers and zealots. Uh, and in fact, there's even consideration uh, being given uh, in the Arizona legislature to have uh, a special unit called GITM, uh, which is an acronym for uh, some kind of, uh, you know, immigration and uh, I forget exactly what the language is that it's an acronym for, but it's, it's a special fund uh, that would be used to try to uh, have state-level uh, immigration enforcement actions that in fact would give some of those taxpayer monies to vigilante groups that go down on the border. Uh, so. Uh, the, the Minutemen type uh, folks who have uh, been spending their time going down on the border and now uh, stand in line to get your tax money to pay them to, to play uh, government agents and to play army uh, and to go down uh, to, to the border to conduct their activities, but now they're going to take your tax money to do it. Uh, we certainly acknowledge that the, the border uh, is, a, is a serious issue that should be uh, dealt with and strong controls should be placed uh, on the border and one way to do that uh, is to have comprehensive immigration reform so that there's a process that people who want to come into the country legally can be checked out uh, and can do that uh, process so that the, the Border Patrol can use their resources to fight the drug smugglers and fight the human smugglers but we don't have a situation where people are trying to sneak over for other reasons because they can't get a visa to do a regular job uh, the, the way they, they could if we had a, a guest worker program. So uh, we need to have a comprehensive federal solution uh, to immigration uh, reform, but not have something where uh, we've got uh, you know, uh, immigration uh, zealots and Minutemen and lawyers uh, from these anti-immigration groups uh, writing the laws uh, in ways to subsidize themselves with our tax money.